Hello guys, Soft Tony here and in today's tutorial I will be showing you how to create a matrix inspired background animation in After Effects without the need for any plugins. This dynamic and awesome effect will be created using just the tools available here in After Effects. So make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get started! Alright, we're here in After Effects and as always let's create first new composition, hit here to create new comp and this is gonna be final 9020 by 1080 10 seconds long, hit ok and now let's go right click to create new solid and this is gonna be BG like usual for background, also full HD, hit ok and make sure that our solid layer is black color, ok. Now let's go right click again, find another solid layer and this is gonna be particles also 9020 by 1080 and then hit ok now let's go here inside the effects and presets and for the first effect i will add cc particle world drag and drop onto our particles here let's make further adjustments for the birth rate i will type 3 and for longevity let's go 5 okay before we proceed let's go here again and find fill effect to change color of our particles and also for the fill color let's change to green color this one hit ok now let's go back here inside the particle world effect open up producer and let's change radius x and radius y to around 0.6 like so something like this ok now let's open up physics and change animation from explosive to directional axis for the velocity let's lower down to 0.3 like so and also for the gravity i will do zero now let's open up particles and change particle type from line here to lens convex and now we will have shape like this. And also for the depth size let's go to 0.05 and for the depth size 0.010 like so. And also let's add here another effect, go here again inside the effects and preset, I will type echo effect, drag and drop onto our particles. And now let's type here exact number like mine, minus 0.010, like so. And for the number of echoes, I will do 65. And for the decay, let's type 0.95, okay? Our next step is to make our particles as a 3D layer, okay? If you can't find this 3D option, hit here toggle switches and modes, make this 3D layer, hit R for rotation, and for the orientation, I will type 90. And now we have something like this, and... This is looking cool. Now let's go again here inside the effects and presets. I will type Gaussian blur effect, drag and drop also on our particle solid layer. And for the blurriness, I will do six. All right, and this is looking great. And for the next effect, I will type motion tile effect, drag and drop, okay. And for the output width and output height, I will type 250, okay. And now as you can see, we have expanded our animation to fit our composition. And for the final step, what you can do, select our particles, hit P for position, and just move this Y parameter to maybe somewhere around here. And if you can find boundaries of our layer, just hit here on these options, toggle mask and shape path visibility. All right, now let's hit zero to see our animation. But before that, let's select particles layer and maybe drag it to the left side so our animation will begin in this way so let's hit zero and wait until this renders out here inside our final composition and now as you can see our animation is looking stunning and also for the final step but this is optional what you can do hit ctrl plus d and for this upper layer let's add another effect and this is gonna be find edges let's type here find edges drag and drop onto our particles and basically you can hit here invert option or you can leave it this way it's up to you hit this invert option and basically this is with our find edges effect and this is without also what you can do hit here toggle switches and modes and change blending modes for example overlay and it's up to you to play around with all of those options all right guys that was everything for today's tutorial and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button and if you also found this video helpful hit that like button and also take a look at my channel for even more great tutorials and until next time stay creative and bye bye.